next up after that snooze fest was RK Bro versus the Usos. Oh yeah, yeah. I was I was looking forward to this pairing. Same. Um, Summer uh, SummerSlam Survivor Series. The way that they're doing them now with the the champions, um, the counterparts of each yeah, show, the counterparts yeah. of each show um, battling each other. Yep. The tag matches over the past few years have been really, really, really good. Yeah. Oh, not to mention um, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and and, and Damian, Damian Priest. Priest. Yep. Uh, the the U S champion and the mm -hmm. internet intercontinental champion uh, wrestled on the pre show. You, you almost know, said internet champion. I almost said, I almost said, but I mean, ugh, I hate pre-shows, so like, that's why. Same here. That's why I damn near stuttered on that word, because I absolutely loathe them. I always feel like they deserve a spot on the card. But uh, we just had to, to reference that, just to, you know, make sure that we covered it in some sort of capacity. But these two, four, I should say, you know, they, the athleticism's of the Usos with the technical wrestling skills of Randy Orton and Riddle make for a great rivalry that should continue. Yeah. If they both were on the same show. Mm -hmm. I could watch this on a SmackDown or Raw week after week after week and be entertained. Yeah, easily. They gel very well. Very well. I have no, you know, the more I talk about it, and I don't remember what I rated it. We're going to get that, we're going to get to that soon. But the more I talk about it, I mean, this was really enjoyable for me to watch. It's probably the one that I would rewatch just to, just to ask myself why I didn't rate it higher than what I probably did. I have a feeling that I gave it a two or two and a half. Mm -hmm. Is that what I did? You gave it a two. I gave it a two. So did I, actually, and I'm thinking about it now. I'd raise it to a 2.5. I'm definitely raising it because um, there's differences. Okay, so the best match of the night we covered in the opening match video. Yeah. The best pairing would be what we see right here with RK Bro and the Usos. Yeah, definitely. By far the best finish of the match was this Right here, RK Bro and the uh, and, and, and the Usos. The way everything was mm -hmm. set up, that RKO that comes out of nowhere, that's that was just that's genius. That's absolute genius. What did you think, Joey? Oh, I thought the same. I mean, they gelled together. It was good. I wasn't bored. But here's the thing. Like, I think we've used this analogy before. Like, you walk into your favorite restaurant, you order your favorite meal. It's always good but it's nothing that you haven't experienced before or seen. And sometimes that's okay. This was that, like, I didn't expect it to be bad. I knew it would be good, but I'm not like blown away because it's, it's kind of like a young bucks thing. Like I know what I'm getting going in, but these guys are, these four are very enjoyable together and I could watch them more and more. I don't think we'll get them more and more, but I could watch them more and more. And I think, the reason why is, you know, you've got three veterans and Riddle, but Randy is really positioned good here because he doesn't overshadow anything. He compliments it nicely. And I even said to you, I was like, when is Randy going to be a factor? And he's a factor when he needs to. Basically, mm -hmm. Riddle carried the match and then Randy was here to add like the spice to it and mm -hmm. just make sure everything gelled and went good at the closing and the opening like he just plays his part to a t he's a total utilitarian i challenge you to tell me what finish would be the most talked about at school the next day this would probably be exactly or becky and charlotte but for other reasons mm. this would be though yeah like yeah this was good and for that, I mean, yeah, you you gave the our now infamous restaurant analogy, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say we walked into that restaurant with that taste. We wanted that. Yeah, we were, we were hungry for it that day, so we weren't disappointed. Yeah, what did you give it? Well, like I changed it. I changed it to a two point five. Yeah, two and a half. Now, why did you change it to a two and a half? Because looking in retrospect with the the men's uh, Survivor Series match. 
I can't honestly say that this wasn't on par or better. And like, I was trying to grade this card hard because I think I grade way too easy sometimes looking back at our shows. But yeah, no, I have to raise it. G especially given what comes next, I have to raise it. So <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm satisfied with the 2.5. All right, well, we're gonna leave you on the cliffhanger for this particular um, match review, because uh, Joey referenced to what's next, and our next video will go over what's next.